The first thing you're going to need to do before you can upload the files to your server is you're going to have to unzip the file that you got from me. Now, you'll have something like this, but it'll have usually the name of the site here. And your icon here might be different depending on what programs you have installed on your computer. But what you want to do is you want to right click on this. And now, if you have a special program that unzips stuff, you probably already know how to use it, so you probably don't even need to watch this part of the video. But you might have different menu picks. But for this, I think this is what it will look like if you just have a basic Windows install and you want to click Extract All. And then you're going to pick where to put the files. You can choose whatever directory you want. It's going to unzip the whole package, and this is going to include your custom theme, your plugins. If there's an ebook, it'll include the ebook. It's going to include the install guide. It's going to include any bonuses. Everything that you need is going to be right in this folder. And once it's unzipped, you'll it'll make a folder and when you go inside there you'll see all the graphics the plugins everything you need is right in there oh yes your WordPress export this has everything you need and you've got to unzip it before you can go to the next step which is FTPing it up to your server once you have all the files unzipped you want to get your custom theme and plugins to the WordPress section of your server. So what you're going to do is you're going to use your whatever FTP program that you like to use. This is FileZilla. It's free. And you're going to type in your website name, the username, and the password. If you have hosting that has cPanel, this is usually the same username and password that you use to log into your cPanel. If you have some other kind of hosting, you may have had to make an FTP user. Do whatever you have to do to log in and then you want to connect to the site. You'll come up with the base directory, which most servers are going to have this public underscore HTML. Some of them might have an htdocs. You want to go into there, because that's actually the root directory of your website. And you'll see in here, all these files are the files that got installed with WordPress. And what you want to do is you want to click into the WP content and the themes folder. Now over here on this left side is your local directory that's on your computer, on your hard drive. And what you want to do is you want to go to the um, unzipped folder that you unzipped previously in this video. And this has your custom themes and your plugins. So what you want to do is just pull the custom theme over here. It's going to put all the files in there. And then you want to go up one level into the plugins directory go into this plugins directory and then pull all your plugins over so that they'll be on your server. And that's it. That's all you have to do. You want to wait until all the files are over there and then you can go to the next step which is logging into WordPress.